right, guys. Happy 15th day of Vlogmas. We're getting closer to Christmas Day. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, daughter is at work. Hubby is at work. Son is at school. Um, all of my Christmas cleaning is done thanks to the help of my mom yesterday. Um, she came in. We spent the entire day gutting the house, scrubbing floors, doing it all. And we even managed to get the Christmas tree up. So very pleased about that. I'm pretty much ready now for Christmas. I just need to finish my shopping and then do some wrapping. So um, this afternoon I'm going to relax and um, stitch. And that's about it, really. So yeah, I am going to watch a little bit of McKenna. She is currently, um, I think doing a live feed from Stitcher's Paradise. So I'm gonna go have a look at that and uh, try and get some stitching done. Hi guys, so it's a couple hours later. I have had some relaxing and then a friend of mine popped over for lunch, um, soup and sandwich and a coffee and a grand catch up chat, so to speak. Um, so we hung out for a couple of hours and she's gone home and I'm now home alone again. <laughs> this is really hard to get used to having my kids um, grown up enough that they're not around much anymore. Like they still live here. I mean, my son's 16 and my daughter's 19, but they're just very independent uh, kids. Like they're much more independent than they have been in previous years so my son's developed this whole new social life and um, you know he's got a girlfriend now so they're out hanging out and you know there's a whole group of them um, that get together and hang out and it's a Friday night so why is he gonna be home kind of thing when he can go out with his friends and my daughter's working and um, she's really really become very independent over this last year so yeah, it's just odd. It's I'm not used to it yet. Like I'm not used to them just coming and going and I'm mean, not coming and going. Like they still have, you know, my son still has a curfew and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, they're just not I guess tied to the house as much as they have been in previous years. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Like last Sunday, or maybe it was the Sunday before, it's traditional that like every Sunday you cook this big, huge home cooked meal. Um, you know, you either do a uh, roast chicken with, you know, all your veg and uh, pastry and gravy and all that stuff, or you do a roast with the same sorts of, you know, stuff. So I had cooked this big, huge roast last Sunday for dinner and, or maybe it was the Sunday before, and six o'clock in the evening came and my daughter had decided that she was going over to her boyfriend's after work because they were going to his uncle's for dinner. And my son had gone to the movies with his friends and my husband was at work <laughs> trying to fit in a couple last minute jobs. So I was home with this entire roast dinner by myself. Yeah. So I'm still getting used to this stuff. It's funny. I just think it's funny. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see where I've gotten to in the last hour or so that I've been stitching. I have pretty much finished this entire section here. I've filled in all of the colored parts. I have finished the gold uh, metallic thread into here and some of the dark brown metallic that goes up through here. I finished the rest of the gold metallic coming down here and now I'm starting this gray color that's going to fill in this section here and then these empty spots if you can see them right here and in through here that's all supposed to be whisper thread these empty spots are for beads so yeah so I'm gonna keep working on this for another little while um, going to find either a movie or a TV show to watch, I think, for about an hour and see how much I can get done. Woohoo! So it is bedtime and this is my progress on Santa's Magic by Mirabilia this week. 
Um, you know how when you look at things when you're stitching, you don't really know what they are when you're first looking at them? I finally figured out that this is his hand. That's a mitten. And this is his thumb. And he's holding on to this gold cord. Yeah. I, uh, I was stitching that and I didn't know what it was. Hang on, I'm just going to grab the picture to show you. Yeah, so... This is his hand, this is his other hand holding onto this thing, and this is his hand holding on to, yeah, this part of his wand, I guess, or staff. Mm-hmm. So, that's what that is. It's a mitten. And I've started his other mitten here. What else did I get done this week? I put in the sparkles here and here. I put in this. I finished filling in these. Except for a couple little spots where beads are supposed to go. Um, I stitched all of this, including this. I stitched this gold, this metallic down here. I filled in these bits of burgundy here. And although you can't see it very well because of the, I guess the lighting or the camera, um, all of this really messy looking stitching is actually whisper thread. So once all of the whisper thread gets filled in, because all of these blank spaces here, like on his sleeves, on his cuffs, they need to be filled in with whisper thread. Once that's all filled in and the piece is done, uh, the last thing you would do is take a, a, a new soft toothbrush and fluff up the whisper thread. But I won't be doing that until later. Look at it spark. Get the sparkle. It's really hard to get this on camera, like to get the sparkling, the twinkling. But there's a lot of Krennic in this. Anyway, that's it. And that's where I'm going to leave it. It's now going to bed. And guess what's coming out tomorrow? It's going to be... A Christmas Carol by Heaven and Earth Designs that's coming out in the morning. See you soon. Bye.